Hey, what's up, guys? What's going on? Another Monday is upon us. Another Margarita Monday. I've got mine, as usual, sitting right here. Hopefully you've got your beverage of choice, whether it be hot, cold, adult, or not. <laughs> Starting another Monday. Monday was quiet, not terribly exciting. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. All right, so tonight, a couple things going on. We're going to do some side missions in Assassin's Creed Origins. There are no more story missions left. The main story was done back when the game first came out in November. And we did the... There's something on my cable here. The uh, Hidden Ones DLC, we did the story stuff this past weekend. So that's all done. So we're just going to do a bunch of side missions. I, I was looking at the map yesterday... And I noticed, because normally you, you probably notice them on the map, your story objectives are like gold. The, the icon is a gold colored, gold and black. The blue, the blue tealish colored ones, those are the timed missions, like the things that you get from Raida. Raida's the kid, the, the merchant kid that we saw on Saturday. And the blue, the teal colored ones are also the the three timed exclusive Trials of the Gods events. But I also noticed that there were two additional colored ones that I saw. One was orange and one was green. So I think what we're going to do, we we'll probably do those first because I want to see what they are. Because the normal side missions and side quest stuff, those are white. Little diamond, white diamond with an exclamation point in the center. <laughs> 115 hours in this game now. Whew, good lord. Well, cheers to everybody. Happy Monday. Thank you all for coming out. Nothing wrong with Coke Zero. Nothing wrong with Coke Zero. He's not going to like it. All right, let's see where we are. I'm back in Egypt. I'm back on the Egypt side of the map. It's it's easy enough to switch now that they've got this Atlas thing right here. That was not there when the game originally released, but I guess because of the two DLCs and you're going to two completely new areas, um, they felt that this was a better way to do it. Valley of the Kings will be Curse of the Pharaohs. Sinai is Hidden Ones, which I mentioned before we did that on Saturday or Friday and Saturday. So, And you notice the level range 45 to 55, so Judging by the fact that the Hidden Ones only gave you five levels, I'm guessing that Curse of the Pharaohs is probably going to be about twice as big, twice as much. So, we'll see. Alright, so the icons that I was mentioning before, you see the one that's off to the left of the screen there. These, these are the Trials of the Gods. There's one here for Anubis. There's one down here in the desert for Sekhmet, and there's another one up here, which I think is the Gator. It's right here. Trial of Sobek, or sorry, Crocodile. And you see the orange ones. I don't know if these are different quests or not. They have the same name, which makes me think that you can potentially start it from any of them. I don't know. And we've got this one down here, which we'll probably do first. And that's kind of why I why I moved myself over here. So we're going to do this one first. This one's called A Gift from the Gods. It's only level 23. So we'll put a marker there. And then once we get done with those, then we'll start working on, on what's left over here. Varying levels, anywhere from third. I did a few of the smaller ones uh, yesterday. There was like some a 13 and an 18. So yeah, we're we're gonna start off with some some mid 30s. 
All right, where is it? So how was the rest of the weekend, Alien King? Good, I hope. Oh, that reminds me, I need to turn on the uh, the interactive stuff. All right, I got it. Hmm. I need to do something real quick. I had to make some changes in Streamlabs the other day, and I did not update the chat link. That's why you're not seeing chat on screen. So that, you're welcome. I did not know that you were going to, I mean, you, if you mentioned it in chat about trying out Mixer from a streamer's perspective. Okay, cool. All right, we're fixed. Do you now see chat on screen? And I can too, <laughs> which is very convenient for me. The way I don't have to do this every 30 seconds. This is right here in front of me. So <laughs> awesome. And that reminds me, I'm going to turn on the interactive stuff. What's going to happen if you're on a Oh, that's right. You can, if you stay out in the desert long enough, you'll become delusional. And you notice how the screen kind of changed and you'll start seeing things, literally. Like there's no guarantee that those guys behind me there are actually real. Oh, they are. Those guys are. But anyway, when I turn on the interactive, if you're on a regular web browser, underneath the video down here, you'll see a bunch of buttons appear. And what I've done for this test is I put a bunch of my sound effects on it. And you can use those to send sound effects to the stream, just like you could in chat previously. The chat sound effects are turned off for tonight because we're going to try the interactive stuff. So... That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. Right, so that deducted 50 sparks from your account, and as you can see, the formatting's a little wonky, but you can see that 5 minutes and 20 seconds is the amount of cooldown before anybody can use that one again. So it's a nice visual representation of what's available to you. I tried to match them up as close as I could with the commands that were in the chat before. So give that a try throughout the night and let me know what you think. There's a lot more that I can do with it than just that. But the, the audio stuff was the easiest one to do. Whoa, hello. By all the gods, have they sent a message from the sky? It's as if Ra has descended upon us. And you notice there are a couple of them. Really interesting. Are you uh, are you on the surface again tonight? Oh wow! At uh, minus, even though the countdown timer's still going, the video. This is kind of strange. Because it's even frozen mine. I can refresh the screen. Refresh the browser. Alright, 
right, there we go. Let me try another one here. Damn, that was annoying. All right, I guess it's okay for now. Well, maybe not. Okay. All right, let me uh I turned it off. And oh, let me let me go back into the bot. The normal bot and turn the regular sound effects back on. You guys suck. <laughs> Figured out my that was a little appropriate, right? to this tomb. This is a sign from the gods. <laughs> a sign from the gods. Fallen star, a large stone glowing blue fell to earth from the sky. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can't see. Which one do you have, by the way? I don't. I don't remember if you mentioned it or not. Could this be referring to a sundial? I wonder. What do those things have in them for a processor? Do they have i7s? Fifteen. What does the fifteen mean? from I-3 to I-7. Have you tried playing any games on it? Is it is it a decent gaming machine? I mean, you probably wouldn't want to play anything in 4K, even if you could. Probably eat this through the battery. Important. Okay, so we've got... Got a sundial with three. Okay. All right, that must be the location of the sundial then. Must be the sundial that was depicted in the tomb. <clears throat> okay. And let's see, so there were th three. <laughs> That's why you have an Xbox One, duh. That's your gaming box. Although, you know, I have a pretty decent laptop <clears throat> that I can use for gaming, but I usually use it for development. 
Now this one was marked. I think these first three were marked. Yeah, my laptop has an i7 in it. It's an MSI. It has, uh, it's got a 1060. It's got a 1060 video card in it. It can do 4K. The screen is not 4K, but I can hook up an HDMI monitor to it. That is 4K and it will do that. 16 gigs of RAM. Well, you can't replace this one either. At least I don't think you can. Most laptops you can't replace the video card. Usually it's just the storage and the memory. Batteries. Alright, so it says... over here and I'm gonna actually gonna take a picture of that <clears throat> of that wall with my phone see if that helps at all seems kind of cheesy but it, <laughs> I don't know why they made me put that thing in the room underground and it'd make me go 100 feet or so away from it. Alright, so we've got that. Okay, it doesn't help. Any guesses are welcome. This is not, you know, there's no story here to spoil. So, if you have any guesses, you're welcome to give them. Okay, so, according to this, I need to flip the picture. Yeah, it's the ones on the left. every every other one it specifically shows it like this one this one that one and that one are the ones that are marked differently I mean, do I have to torch related unless they're going to be really anal about it to make me throw the torch inside that little box which would suck
see anything on the on the picture that says the the tower in the center needs to be in any specific position or anything. It's just those three. Something looked like something has to be done to those three. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what this might be? I heard about this a while back. This might be that that Final Fantasy 15 tie-in cuz those look that looks like the, the way they're dressed in their hair kind of looks like those guys from I haven't played the game but I know what some of the characters look like it kind of looks like them and that would explain what the 15 meant over in the other room over there so maybe maybe this is some kind of I don't know Final Fantasy themed gear or something as a gift See, I don't, that's not really. Doesn't appear to be giving me any clues. As to what I'm supposed to do. It says exploration area, and those usually give you some kind of marker when you scan, but I got nothing.
<laughs> Sold! I do not get a commission for that. <laughs> Although if I was a partner, I probably would. <clears throat> That's okay. I know for Twitch, it's like 5%. hell was that? You hear that? Oh, hey. I'm interesting. Okay, so it looks like the one I'm standing on. Okay. Now that was one of them. Now we go... Oh, wait a minute. There's two of them. Three of them. All right, they're all. All right, I can't go in there. Maybe, maybe, maybe an arrow shot. It's red. Red usually means it's a target. Ah, okay, it's a timed thing. All right. Let's do it again. Has to be during the day, maybe. Seems to be working. Am I supposed to destroy them? Maybe? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, okay, they have to be done in a certain order then, looks like, maybe... One, three, five... How much was it, by the way? And which version did you get? <laughs> That's pretty fucking cool. Lights shining up to the gods. What have, <laughs> what I, have done? I done? I should check the tomb. Now that explains why the arrow, the arrow f refill is here. Although I can't use it. Give me presents! <laughs> I want presents! Notice the blue flames. Oh, you doorkeepers who guard your portals. Who swallow souls and who gulp down the corpses of the dead. What a journey I have made. The things I have seen. I am but one of you. The Ma Maydoom Pyramid? I don't know Final Fantasy. Is Maydoom maybe something in Final Fantasy? Assuming that's what this is.
<laughs> Run! <laughs> yeah, yeah, get behind something big. Oh, nice. Bye-bye. We have toys! It's like the little kid in Close Encounters. <laughs> Toys. Holy shit. Look at that thing. And that shield. Quay Mount. Zedric Shield. Ultima Blade. You notice he's already carrying it. I want it now. Okay. It was leveled to me. Level 45, critical hit. Level 3, adrenaline regeneration. Level 3, health for critical. So I'm guessing that every time I get a critical hit, it gives some health back to me if I need it. Where is it? Health for critical. While below 20% health, all attacks do critical damage. Let's look at the shield. Zedric shield. Ranged resistance. Damage absorption rate. Bleeding on block. For days on end, a legendary blacksmith hammered a new sheet of armor onto his shield. It will make a legend of you. What does this say? Only a blade forged in an insomnia would tirelessly absorb the life force of fallen foes. And we got the mount, which is Quay, I guess. This enigmatic creature's tremendous speed was once used for racing. That was pretty cool. That was cool. Didn't get much experience for it, but it doesn't matter anyway because we're maxed out. All right, let's see what this mount looks like. Let's go get our arrows <clears throat> refilled. It's going to let us no. <laughs> there he is! <laughs> what is that thing? Looks pretty cool, though. We ride my trusty steed. Okay. Now we're looking for the orange one. Looks like the closest one is in Memphis. Go see what that is. We'll take this guy for a ride. Oh, actually. I'm only doing that for the for the um, the soft leather for upgrades because I'm sure we're gonna need it when Curse of the Pharaohs comes out. Might as well start stocking up. Yeah, he 
actually does ride pretty fast without uh, galloping. Hello, friend. What's going on? You are Bayek, yes? Yes. My master is anxious that you get this letter. It is urgent. Your master? Do I know him? His name is Otis. You haven't met. All is explained in the letter. Otis from, was it Mayberry RFD? <laughs> you see Drunk. never know peace. I will go to the Sarajina camp to learn if there is any truth to this letter. Letter from Otis. Medjai Bayak. Medjai is essentially sheriff, protector, is what that essentially means. Medjai Bayak, may Amun guide this letter to your hands. I labor as a scribe within a royal palace and have come across some disturbing information. It seems that Siwa is again in danger. The details have eluded me, but some artifacts seem to have attracted the attention of a Roman general in the Saragina camp. He has begun bribing various Siwan officials in preparation to commandeer the entire village. Siwa is dear to me. As a young boy, I journeyed there with my parents to pray to the Oracle. I have mourned for its recent travails and would hate to see another another visited so soon upon that Whoa, lovely region. Now. I am still attempting to discover the motive behind all this. The information I have was given to me by a Nabatane by the name of Gamilat. Hey, <laughs> he's dead. Hmm, I wonder if this was supposed to have been done before the DLC. It is possible you'll learn more at the Saragina camp if indeed you do undertake to prevent the massacre. Please meet me afterwards at my home south of the Eastern Market in Alexandria. Let us pray. It is not too late, Otis. Wow, that's a long way away. We're not going to take our new friend. We're going to fast travel. Three thousand XP and mystery key, mystery item. All right. What's the nearest? That's probably all right. We'll go here. Looks like. As I mentioned the other day, this is the area where you start the game. to do. <clears throat> Alien King, I would suggest that if you have any uh, reward points with Ubisoft that you might want to 
There's some things that you can get. I think there's some weapons and stuff that you can use those points for. It should help you. some more. Just watch this lion sneak up on these. <laughs> Look at him. He's crouching. <laughs> Moving in for the kill. Where's Richard Attenborough when you need him? <laughs> Sorry, buddy, but I'm taking your food. Is it? I mean, that's not too surprising, right? What uh, What's the quality of your of your connection? How fast is it? Five seventy five. That is good. How much do you pay pay a month for that? Is it a residential account? Is it a business account? it's probably not you know one of the big companies like Comcast or Time Warner <clears throat> Frontier I get I get 180 down and 25 up and I pay 105 for that it's Comcast the business account I have no data gaps which is the main reason that I wanted a business account Especially having cut the cord probably maybe five years ago. I must let Rome maybe know four. that Siwa is never to be harmed again. None of these men will survive. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to switch. You remember that papyrus that we were looking for the other day the over in that Virginia. walls of the ruler or whatever it was? With the bush? I found that yesterday and it's a pretty sweet set of dual swords and man are they fast 
Hey! The wind is picking up. Not good. I don't either. Uh, the bulk of my TV is getting ready to start <laughs> in about six weeks. Hey, what? Getting tired? There you are. Hey, what? Item. Oh, yay. Could let the animal out of the cage and let him have some fun. There's a lot of stuff underground. Hey, Eck, what are you doing?
Oh, that's not really what I wanted to do, but okay. Alright, looks like we're down to the last few. It marks them. I think it's five. Once it gets down to five. I'll go over here and try and clean up as much of the goodies as we can. I spent a lot of money since we got to got to the level cap on Saturday I spent a lot of money getting everything that I used to a level 45 I started off with like 35,000 coin now I had like six yeah, that's what I got from doing that puzzle. <laughs> For solving the sundial puzzle, I got the sword. The big sword. From there, too. Okay, who's left? All right, we got two, where are they? these cards, and Jibade will soon meet Anubis. See, these things are very far away. <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, there are two there. Let's save that one for last. Guess we'll go. We'll go here. <coughs> so I saw you got you got through San Cristobal on Nightmare. Congratulations. It's probably hard enough dealing with the alien on Nightmare difficulty, but not having a map either. definitely something where it helps to know the map, right? We at least played through the game probably a couple of times before you try it. Yeah, paying attention.
somewhere around yeah somewhere around here let me get up to my usual height advantage See if we can figure out exactly where he is. The wind rises. Trying to see if they can find a good place to snipe him from. Probably go back down. And get him from this tower. Take the back way. <coughs> Looks like it. Try this so that it doesn't make noise. Nope. <laughs> There's nobody there anyway. He 
is facing the other way. is one. Now the other two. Okay. Come over here just to smash. Smash some jars. I'll get some iron out of it. Yeah, all those orange markers disappeared, so I guess you could have kicked off the quest from any of them. Yeah, looks like that one's the closest, so we'll go there. chariot races and there are arenas in here as side activities <clears throat> that you can do and there are achievements tied to both of those if that kind of thing interests you On standby. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what it is. It's not a horse, that's for sure. I forget what the creature is called. Out of the way. Fine. I'll go hide. So it's the cart. We've only have to assassinate one person. There. One more. Have you not seen the have you not seen the mount? There's the mount right here. <laughs> like I said, I think it's some kind of uh, some kind of creature from Final Fantasy. Is it Choke Chocobo? Does that Keep sound familiar? Chocobo. By 
Me either. I have a couple of the old ones. They were, you know, like uh, giveaways from GOG or Green Man or, excuse me, one of those, one of those sites. So, I mean, who am I to refuse a free game? Even if I may never play it. <laughs> Cart is parked in Pisa Oro Citadel. Ajabade is also there. Okay. Where is our leap? No idea. Some more skin. Leopard fur. They must be somewhere in this fortress. level 30s underground entrance How the hell did that not hit him? Dummy, where? There you go, girl. Ow. Oh, 
should have stayed up there. Are you right here? Where? Yeah, see, we lost. We lost the level up because we were at the level cap. <clears throat> Grapes. Get the air assassination on the big guy. Is he gonna come close enough? Of course, I should could throw a flaming shit bag at him. Get a bunch of his friends too. He's only level 32. Still unwilling to join us. Soon more soldiers will arrive. We'll outnumber him four to one. He'll have to give in. He'll try to hold out in his fortress. We'll impose a siege. We are the <laughs> Now to destroy the car. <laughs> I'll rally the troops. <laughs> What's got into it? Tell you! Don't you waste anything. He is mine! 
a vase. So much for their bribery. Very well. I've done what I can. <laughs> now stuck. I will see Otis ah, in Alexandria. Ah, ah. He may have found out what this is all about. Wow, I can't, uh... I was gonna say, it won't let me target his head. There we go. We may as well grab some quick goodies while we're here, since we're low on cash. What I would consider low on cash, anyway. Hey, over here. Hey, thank you so much. Over here. Where? I hear you. The child in the cell escaped and is hiding in the hay cart. Help her back to one of our camps. Oh, I will buy you both time. Hey, over here. Estella. Who is Estella? Oh, you are too kind. Thank you so much. They brought a child earlier, but she escaped. She must be hiding nearby. Find her and get her out of here while I distract the guards. you have an escape route planned out. You understand. Now climb on the pad and drive us out of here. Yes, ma'am. Hey, over here. other way all right fine <laughs> little brad kid bad faith no which one did we just get lure of glory demons in the desert plight of the rebels That must be it. Okay. Yes, well done. Now go to our camp nearby. We will be safe there. We will be safe there. That's right. Edge with the big pile of rocks with trees. We have a camp there. We are here. Warrior, that was a chariot ride worthy of Set himself. Did the rebel send you? Those men were going to kill me. You show much fire for one your age. <laughs> you were two in my place. The Pharaoh's dogs seek to wipe us out and control everything. They do not understand. 
Life must flow freely or else everything rots. They wanted my treasure, so I fought back. Besides, I had to protect Hitanu. If they had found him, they would have killed him. I have been so worried. Your friend is safe. He's back at the camp with the others, where you should be as well. I know, I know. Be more careful, Stella. Stay out of trouble, Stella. <laughs> Always telling me what One to do. Though. One day, I'll be just like <clears throat> you. I will liberate the desert so we can all be free. From that day, come find me, young warrior. It will be an honor to fight by your side. Don't forget to get Alexander's shield back from Medon. Stomp him good. As you wish, young warrior. Alright, so I guess this, this is the next... Yep, Plight of the Rebels. I was hoping not to do too much bouncing around, but since we got that one someplace we already were, and we had literally just finished that part of that quest. The Medjai rides to the Citadel. Finally, a protector to defend us. Sniping opportunity, maybe? Uh, He's moving, though. He's roaming, so let's get the... Let's get the mount. Again, Old, angry looking, and with bodyguards. No doubt, Medon. There's an Avenge mission right there in front of me. That's another one of the teal ones that I was talking about the other day. Stupid girl. A fish can hide treasure from me, does she? She talks soon enough. Everyone talks under the heat. I am your first judgment, Medon. Prepare to die. Whoa. Work together. Prepare to die. He almost didn't even get a chance to finish his finish his line. Good riddance. This should offer some measure of respite to the rebels. All right. <clears throat> and what was the one we were doing before we picked that one up? Meet Otis, incoming threat in Alexandria. Okay. Alexandria is pretty big, too. 
obviously it's the biggest. Well, I don't know, what Alexandria or what is it called? A Cyrene? In the upper left hand corner of the map is a fairly large city also. Memphis. Memphis in the east. Let's see. Yeah, Cyrene. Cyrene is right here. Nice gladiator stadium. Right there. Okay. <laughs> Should probably sell sell our junk too. We'll do that after we talk to Otis. Oh, good. Blacksmith, too. Nice. Something you need, friend? Uh, let's see. Go ahead and refill first. We shouldn't need anything. We don't. We'll sell the junk first. You're welcome, sir. What are all these soldiers doing here? You there! Stop! I should be cautious around here. Uh oh. Is that Otis on the floor? What has happened here? of a scribe. Ah, it is indeed Otis. Poor man. Signs of torture. Someone tried to make him talk. They were determined to leave no witnesses.
This is Otis's blood. He tried to flee. <laughs> He's a forensic pathologist as well. Just using his eyes. <laughs> Poor girl. One of the servants. Scrolls <clears throat> about the palace budget. Nothing of interest. Letters and papers from the royal palace. Ah, nothing of use here. Wearing the robes of a scribe. Ah, it is indeed Otis. Poor man. Signs of torture. Someone tried to make him talk. He was attacked in his sleep. And this jar has something in it. And this jar has something in it. Hidden notes. Must be important. Otis's notes. I hope you won't have to read this, but if you do, it means I'm probably dead. I'm in too deep, and I've compromised myself. I do believe I've found what this is all about, and it's bigger than I had imagined. An ambitious Roman general named Rufio, hello, plans to create a network of Egyptian and Greek collaborators throughout the country. Their goal is to present Rufio as a savior and not a conqueror in order to invade Egypt from within. Fortunately, if you've taken out his allies already, you've cut the, his most valuable Egyptian connections. He most likely will not abandon his quest. Who knows what he'll try next? Please tell Aya, the missus, I've repaid my debt to her. I wish we could have met you and I. Otis. You did fine work to gather this information, Otis. As you traverse the Duat, I swear to you, if I get the chance, I will make certain this General <laughs> Rufio pays. We already did that. <laughs> that was the... Uh, this must have been some kind of prelude quest for the uh, Hidden Ones DLC. Because the people that they mention along the way, they're already dead. Go ahead and go right back to this guy and sell the stuff that we just got. Oh, oh. Greetings, friend. Mm. All right, almost back up to ten. Quite the 30 that we used to have. Alright, nothing to upgrade. Yeah, some of these, unfortunately, we can't get rid of them. The ones with the, the gold and the red symbols on them. All right, let's go. Let's go back over to. I need to take a, about a five-minute break. So you go back over to Sinai. It's a couple of quests that I need to do there. One of them involves the two phylacuses that are there, and there's another quest that we picked up from the. Um, what's it called? Uh, Bureau. Assassin's Bureau over in Sinai. So we gotta do that one too. I don't remember if there are any locations that are left undiscovered or not, any question marks on the map, but we may grab those. We may grab those also. Let's see. Bad 
Faith, Rise of Shakilat is one of them. Shadows of the Scarab is the other. And we'll need our chocobo for that. Just in the middle, make it a lot easier. All right, Rise of Shakalot. A recruit in charge of the Hidden Ones Bureau informs Bayek of the disappearance of Osorkan, a hidden one. Let's see. Romans have hidden, have captured a hidden one, yet mysterious thieving also plagues the Klisma docks on the trail of a missing hidden one. Bayek discovers the truth, and it will create great change within the hidden ones. So, yeah, we'll do those two, and then we'll go from there. We take a break. Let's see. What do we got? What do we got? I got one tune, about four and a half. So, about four and a half minutes. We'll be back. Continue from here. Sit tight.
was doing a, a lookup of that Final Fantasy stuff. Apparently, the guy that we saw, his, he is the, uh, I guess he's the antagonist in Final Fantasy XV. His name is Arden Azunia. Briefly being pulled into Origins' world before being spirited away by the summoned creature Bahamut. So, yeah, <laughs> that was kind of cool, actually. <clears throat> I don't know anything about Final Fantasy, but I thought it was pretty neat. <laughs> All right. Find, reach the lost hidden one on the merchant ship. Okay. Fast travel here. Excuse me. It's investigation night. The merchant killed and did romance. Someone who disposed of these romans did so with great skill. It must have been a hidden one. The merchant was robbed. Curious. Dear gods. Liberty and children sold into the quarry as slaves. These innocent souls are kept in an underground holding pen in the quarry. I should go there. Six boys, two girls, twelve orphan boys. Cages for children are atrocious. Poor child. <laughs> hey, hey, Ari Hercules, how you doing? Welcome. How's it going? Thank you for asking. Even for a Monday. A soft gun must be held here. Nice. How old? They will 
attack on site here. Um, I'm not sure you're supposed to be on Mixer. You're supposed to be 13. Someone has robbed this Roman warehouse. A brave thief. Chains used on these poor children. Oh, gods. Double the guard. Claudius, yesterday I discovered that a portion of our supplies had disappeared during the night. This is the second time this has happened. How is it possible, despite our best efforts? Are the workers stealing from us in front of our eyes? If this turns out to be the case, we will all end up languishing on a cross. Keep attentive, inform the others, double the night guard if needed. We must catch the thieves before Decito finds out about this. Let's get out of here. You must be the great Bayek. Understand this. I investigated the docks and found a woman. Liberating the children Woman. of Slaver's Barge. A liberator's behind the pillaging. A Nabataean warrior known as Shakilat. She hands out these spoils to the people and strikes with incredible swiftness. I was following her. It was captured by Romans. Woman. She has found safety with the children in a courtyard between the Bureau and the quarry. nearby <laughs> we won't do that maybe we'll do one tomorrow let your hearts be still children I am your protector the Sinai is your home you are so brave Shakilat oh great warrior you are Iset by Amun Ra I will not let these centurions take you to be sold off like bags of grain please do not let them take us again I cannot wait to eat a good meal. Soon, my darlings. Soon. You are stealing for the workers in the quarry. If you wish to arrest me, you will have to rip my heart out before I take <laughs> chains on. Uh, do not worry. 
but your ways may <clears throat> lead to Roman reprisal. You are trying to defend, yet harm could come of your actions. Then Nick, sewing in the back. For their oppression. I am a liberator. You beget oppression. Liberation is a subtle work of art, not simple petty theft. Look at those blades. You cannot take freedom. You must create it. I know the shape of freedom. I lived it with my husband here in the Navatia, before he was crucified like a fly by Tacito. Uh -huh. There they are. Now, uh, the I will show you how nothing stops me. There is the so called liberator! Your outpost! Get her! Bonabatia! Well struck, Shakila! Defend these children with me. You will not regret it. Damn! Top of the skull. All right, lead on. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'll stay no longer. I will draw the other Romans away from these innocents. There are no more. <coughs> there will always be more. Not if you join us. I do not understand what you ask of me. You fight well. A warrior of your kind is rare. Follow our path, and you will not regret it. I do not join cults. We are liberators, and do not abide by the rules of false oracles and tyrants. You are a chosen one. I work for good. I want to help heal our land. Shakilat, I am sure you have the car of the Hidden One. But how can I trust a stranger? I work alone to save my people. I only trust myself. We have the same values. You must only decide whether you apply your skills for the benefit of few or all. Look me in the eyes and tell me there will be no more hate, no more war, no more men in chains. Nobody can guarantee These that. Are all broken by our creed. Your creed. And if I do choose to give myself to it, to believe it, what must I do? Jump. <laughs> the leap of faith. How do we proceed? Incredible. I thought I was going to die. You are reborn as a hidden one. How do we proceed? We have a bureau and a ceremony celebrating your pledge. I will enter the shadows. Welcome to the Brotherhood. All right, now, now comes the fun part. Now we get to go over the go against these clowns take those guys out Let's see what time we got eight o'clock got another hour left treat these guys the same way I treated the I think there were nine or ten of the phylacuses in the main game 
They're hard if you fight them on foot. <clears throat> They're significantly easier if you're on a mount. I don't know what level these guys are. Hungry, hungry hippo. Let's cut through here if we can. Maybe not. Yep, we know. It's because we're going after him. See there, the Magi of old. It's Bayek. I will draw and quarter him. How do they know me? Who <laughs> is this man after me? In a eunuch. Let the hippo get him. There you go. <laughs> there you go, dumbass. Fight the hippo for me. <laughs> oh man, he kind of laid waste to that hippo, didn't he? Bring your head to my master. Tooth of Sobek. Heavy blade. If I remember correctly, this is where killing the Phalacasis from the main game is where I got the outfit that I'm wearing. Alright, the other guy's in the north. Yeah, he's way up here. So we'll go get him. There should be an achievement once I kill the second one. And that should be it for achievements for the DLC. So I have that done. We've already got them all for the main game as well. <clears throat> Convenient. Where is he? There he is. Oh boy. Oh. Right, see up at the top of the hill. Looks like. Come here! You know a lot about me. Hey! Is that really Bayek? The old Medjai? I'll put his heart on a platter. <laughs> you still dress the part, Medjai Scout. 
Who do you hunt for, huh? Tell me, or face your final breath. Shadows of the Scarab. Pick that up. Go forth with strength. Go forth with vigor. No tomb will remain unturned until he is found. No light to, no light to bright to turn to darkness. Life cannot continue if this path does not find Sekhmet glorious at its end. I will wait in the desert to the south of the turquoise land. Where the mountains and the sands meet. I have a pretty good idea where that is. Folded between the dunes, I will wait. Bring me the head of the man with the eagle. Bayek, news for you. Their leader is camped in the southern desert of the Sinai. Signed, the shadows of the scarab. Way down here. Oh, it's not quite as far down as I thought. All right, so let's so fast travel here. Looks like it's the closest place. All right, man, that's cool. No problem. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Enjoy the game <laughs> once you're able to get it downloaded. leather for crafting. Let's see, we came across... Where was it? Or something. Yeah, right here. Came across this earlier in the game. battle took place here. Buried in the shimmering sands. Hmm. Just like the scarab. Oh. <clears throat> Scorpions, too. These bodies buried in the desert remind me of Tanaka. <coughs> His influence still lingers. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you go away. Come back over here.
Beast is not a typical bandit camp. We'll get the blue ones in a second. Nice carbon crystals, great for great for crafting. through over there. A scroll dedicated to the shadows of the scarab. They were hunting me. So this is where the shadows nest. Show yourself. Hmm. There's no one here. The statue of Sekhmet? <laughs> Goddess of vengeance. What is that father in the desert? More desert? <laughs> Some kind of sacrifice looks like. Picture. Doesn't look like me. your enemy, Kawab. We do not need to do this. For the great Tahaka, forever the ruler of Latopolis. Oh, great. Tahaka's little boy has grown up. And you, Magi, have aged poorly. You have come to defend Tahaka's honor, but you forget he never had any. My father was the great steward of Latopolis. Damn. This shit. You get one hit, he gets four. I can't get away from him. Need to get that segment to recharge. Won't recharge completely, but... It'll recharge a segment. <laughs> this is foolish! You're not the same as your father! For his honor! My family is cursed to die at your hands, Bayek. Your father did. 
But you do not have to. You are innocent. There is only darkness. You fight well. You have bred a fine group of warriors with your shadows of the Scarab. Still winning. <laughs> Just kill. Now. Go up. Do not make the same mistakes your father did. <clears throat> what other option do I have? Another recruit, maybe? Damn, he's small. I've tracked you as soon as I could ride a horse and kill someone with a blade. Don't try to use your ideas to change my mind. I can tell you that killing me will bring you no redemption. Be done with me. Vanquish me. My existence was a mistake anyways. I want to show you something. <coughs> Come with me, Kawab. Where? Just allow me to join my father. Your father cut your grandfather's tongue out. He oppressed your people. Family is not always our chosen and true brotherhood. He was revered as a hero as well. And a leader. Hey, do not be swayed by people's gossip. It is true that I never wanted to kill. I was driven to. I was driven that way once also. Without sense though, even doing misdeeds against the gods. Yet Ma'at taught me a lesson. I am nothing if I do not honor my father. Then ask him why he supported child killers. You ask him why he betrayed you. What am I supposed to do? I have nothing else. You could join us, the hidden ones. Your gang of killers in the shadows? We are more than this. We have a code. I had a family before I had this group. I gave it all up because I did not have a choice. And if I do not join? There is only one other option. This desert is my graveyard. Or your redemption. This is what I wanted to show you. Endless deserts and mountains. Do you hear the wind on the sands? The desert calls us at times. Now, will you answer back or be taken by it? All my life has been revenge and killing. But I believe what you are saying. Hey, Dan, what's going on? I see your shout out. It's supposed to come after you make a comment. I don't know what happened to your comment. To become a shadow of power and cause. Abandon yourself and you become one of us. Then it is so. I will renounce my name. My family. I will find a new one. As they liberate. <sighs> Alongside you, Bayek. Now, you are a hidden one. What about the leap of faith? You gotta do that too. So we're just going to sit here and chill now for the rest of the night? <laughs> Have a beer? <laughs> Grill some dogs and some hamburgers? Alright. <laughs> Let's 
see what else is on the quest log here that we can do. I've actually made a good bit of a dent in it. Some of the trials are still left open, 13 hours left. We won't get those done. This time, anyway. Maybe by the time we do the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC, those will those will be available to us again. All right, so we got a 29. That's the lowest level quest. Yeah, that's available to us, so we'll do that one. How much time we got? About 40 minutes or so. Bad faith. Side quest level 29. Bayak refers to Badiaset to tell him of Sehetep's involvement in the corruption within the cult of Sobek. Despite Badiaset's reluctance, they both agree Sehetep must be stopped. Okay, that had already been done, at least part of it. Yeah, so this will be another instance where the atlas that you see there in the bottom left wasn't there when the game was originally released and it came out. They added it with the Hidden Ones DLC because we've got new areas that are outside of Egypt that Bayek is going to have to go to and this is the way they decided to do that. So you can travel freely back and forth between these areas even though the events of the Hidden Ones DLC take place four years after the events of the main game and everything all your gear all your levels all that stuff transfers back and forth seamless seamless transition between the two See, that's the bad thing. All right, we'll do this since this Avenge quest is right here. We'll go ahead and grab it. This will be like 250 XP. It's not much, especially at my level. What have I walked into? But it, it's an actual gamer that got killed right there. And you just have to find the person that did it, or persons in this case, and kill them. You know, get your get your XP. Since this is in the <laughs> first area of the game, you know, probably breathe on these guys and they'll be dead. <laughs> level one, <laughs> and I'm level forty five. Sickle sword. <laughs> I get seven coin for that. I have some new goods, Bayek. You might be interested. Need to refill on anything. Go ahead and sell the stuff that we just got. I will take that off your hands. Yeah, please do. It's just taking up inventory slots. Sell the junk. You find such interesting things, Bayek. 
Alright, now we can fast travel. Where is the quest? Oh, must have, oh it's because we did the we did the uh, avenge. Lord. This is over by the arenas. streets. of the Duat. Sobek be merciful to you. Ma'at find you worthy. Duwa Sobek. Sobek the healer. He of the green plumage. The splashing one who came from the great goddess of sunlight. Forgive our weaknesses. Medjai, you are late. Sehetep's men came to kill me. So I see. Not bad for a <laughs> bloodshed. I was not always a priest. I thought I had escaped all this. Sir Hetep and I found faith together, joined the temple together. I knew his struggle just as I did. But I have to stop him now. You cannot be seen to move against him. Not if the cult is to survive. A priest killing a priest looks bad. I should do this. You are right. You will find him at the northern temple. I will meet you outside. Jeez. Well, at least the mount didn't leave. Ah! We must keep up. There he is! For Sehetep! That is the meddling medway! Alright, we'll see if we can get a snipe on this guy. Temple of Sobek. Sehetep is inside. You will be well guarded. <clears throat> uh, this area is off limits. Going back down to ground level. That's all right.
Claudiuson has gained the help of a strong ally. The Magi who raided our city. Who is he? He is not from here. Me. It is done. Faith turns to treachery far too often, it seems. I should meet Padiaset. Hosier. Ah. Thank you for the follow. Hold on just a second, sir. Hey, what? Ma'am, sir. There we go. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the igloo. How's it going? Fascinating, but I can kill him easily enough. Do you think the Magi will succeed? Yes. He is a stranger, yet Sobek guides him. When this is... Ah, shit. Death have chose death. Then it had to be. I lost a brother today. If I had acted sooner, he might have been restored. Faith cannot be passive. This is my lesson. We will rebuild what has been damaged. But what of the soldiers? They had a hand in all this. They will always meddle. But stay strong. They know now not to mess with the temple. Sobek has warriors too. <laughs> you honor me, Magi. May Sobek honor you. Staff of Sehetep. Man, we've got so much legendary stuff, it's not funny. Alright, can we break any of this stuff down? Probably not. No, can't break that down, can't break that down either. Hey, what's up, Gosh? How's it going, man? How do you do, sir? All right. Oops. Let's see. What do we got left here? We've almost got it to the point where we don't need the scroll bar anymore. Let's see. We've got a 31, a 33, a couple 35s. So we'll do the 31. Oh, wow, a purple. Tahira, yes, Tahira, an old friend of Spaya. Oh, wait a minute, she was, she was the woman that was uh, in, the, in the DLC, right? <laughs> She's dead. So we'll do this one. Got about uh, maybe 15 minutes or so. Oh man, 
looks like lots of traveling back and forth and back and forth. I guess it's kind of expected, right? When you leave a lot of side quests and stuff alone. Until you're done with all the story stuff and DLC and just mopping up, essentially. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be jumping into that water. Ew. Oh, gators. Rocks. Right into a lair. Nice. How many more days? I don't know. Have you mentioned that before? I don't remember. You may have, and I just burnt. God. <clears throat> we don't need to kill these crocs. Because I'm sure there are going to be new upgrades and stuff for the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC when it comes out in about three weeks. A lot of people start stocking up and we're on the way to somewhere. We run into some critters. There's a lair over there. <laughs> There'll be a lot of them over there, I guarantee you. More? I heard gurgling. baby. <laughs> Ten and a half. <laughs> Gator first. Oh, and some eggs too. Now, fall upon them like Sobek's rock. Kill the romance.
Be on guard. Work. Though I do not know what they do with the flamingos. They eat the tongue. A Roman delicacy, boiled with dates. Or so I've heard. <laughs> or so it I've heard. Terrible. Oh, How man. long have you been out this way? Long enough for scar tissue to grow over some wounds. But some are still raw. Gonna go over here and kill more gators if there are any left. <laughs> this is where I was before. The same spot. Yep. Wait! That is not a right sound. Beat the bushes for the great sacred crocodile! Glory and reward for whomever finds and catches them. Those pus-filled scabs. They are defiling the shrine and trying to recapture Sobek's children. <laughs> Not safe here. Sobek, keep us safe. <laughs> Tread lightly. Sobek, keep us safe. Sobek's children can grow fat off Roman bones. <laughs> I think you might be Sobek's adopted daughter. <laughs> oh, hush. Come. There are more of these Roman maggots to you. Roman. When we parted, we still had more names to find. I found them. <laughs> and yes, did we they ease your night terrors? No. Rather... 
They unlocked a whole new world of atrocities. <clears throat> hippos. These Roman leeches prove their courage by caging hippos. The Romans are fools. I'm putting hippos in danger every day. Treasure. Skins. Maybe we're done, finally. That was God's work, Bayek. It was good to be at your side again. My father always said to be wary of a smiling crocodile. Hey, hey Gunner, but how's it going? I Welcome back, sir. Favor if he is offering. I do not know. We're almost done for the night, unfortunately. Smile. Cities like Heraklion are a blight upon the land, driving the gods away from here. We are witnessing the end of an age. I thought I was supposed to be the somber one. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, my brother. It was good to see you, Tahira. May all the gods watch over you. And you. I will follow Sobek's children into the green. I hope you find what you are looking for. Perfect. That's what I need. Some more soft leather. Come on, guys, over here. Any more? Good, 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 good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Not bad for Monday, right? <laughs> All right, there was a treasure over here. side anything nearby Lowest one is 33. While investigating a bandit camp in the mountains, Bayek finds an ominous letter from Hapti, quarry warrior, quarry worker, to his beloved wife to be Marope. I think we'll probably save that one for tomorrow. So yeah, we've got, we won't be doing the trials. We may save those, because they'll be expired by tomorrow night's stream anyway. Let me save the, I think when, when they do the Curse of the Pharaohs DLC, when it releases on the 13th, I believe, March 13th, I bet you they'll open these back up again. We may try those. I've done the, I've done the one for Anubis. When that one was that that was the very very first one that they did i did that one back then but it's the only one that i've done so we'll say we'll, well we won't do those but we'll work on the rest of these side quests 
tomorrow night. We're on the schedule for, for three hours tomorrow, 6 to 9 p.m., just like tonight. And on Wednesday, what we're going to do is we're going to spend some time doing the – we're going to do some of the uh, Discovery Tour, um, which is something that they just released uh, Tuesday of last week, I think it was. It's a free download for the game. If you already have the game, then you get this for free. It's not – you don't have to pay for it at all. It's uh, it's an educational thing. There's no combat. There's no fighting. None of that. It's just back, you know, it's history. Taking, literally taking tours of Egypt through the game. So we're going to do some of that on Wednesday. That'll be our last night with the, with the game until that DLC comes out. So, so yeah, we're going to, we're going to call it a night here a few minutes early, not too, not too early. And uh, for all the new follows, thank you for that very much. For the host, thank you guys for that as well. Gosh, thank you for coming out. Alien King was here earlier, but he had to call it tonight a little bit early. So I will see you guys tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, hopefully. And uh, enjoy the rest of your night. See ya.